hopefully we'll be able to find this leopard at some point today. But in the meantime, we have managed to find some vultures that are busy warming up. So normally when we see lots of vultures together, we tend to get excited because there's a potential that there's a kill somewhere around the area and, you know, maybe lions are eating something or leopards or cheetah. In this particular case, however, I think, um, you know, there's no such thing. We've roughly checked around the area and I know Rex was just um, in the drainage line not too far from where they are and it seems to be, the coast seems to be clear. So these guys very likely are just um, soaking up the sunshine, trying to warm up a little bit before um, the morning starts going around. It seems that um, the ones that we've got here are wide-backed vultures, from what I can see. The shapes of all of their heads are pretty much around the same. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think there's one at the bottom. So you see, um, vultures are quite big birds. Their wingspan is about two meters long. So it's, I don't know, it's 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 a wingspan that is actually taller than me. Um, so for them to start flying around, it's quite hard. It's you know, it takes a lot of effort. So the best way for them to start flying around is actually to wait for the thermals, which are the hot currents of air. And that's why when you see them flying up, they always go in circles because they're just pretty much riding the wave like a surfer. So they start going all the way up and then they start looking for food. So as they start going up, they can also, the higher up they go, well, not only can they cover a bit more ground and see what's uh, on the ground, but they can see other vultures flying around. So if there were a vulture to come down and they can see it, very quickly they would come and investigate and see what's happening and then, you know, go down. But because it's winter, then these thermals are taking slightly longer to start forming. So I think maybe around about 9 o'clock this morning when it's nice and warm, nice and hot, that's when we're going to see them start riding the wave and start going all the way up. I think I just want to double check with the binos because I see a head. Um, Elizabeth, vultures uh, just scavenge and they have a very important role in the ecosystem because they are the ones that clean up pretty much the mess that everybody leaves behind. So they've got very powerful stomachs and very powerful acids in their stomach that allows them to pretty much wipe out diseases should they should a particular carcass have a disease. So they're, I know they don't really have a very good connotation and we all tend to be like, ew, well, you know, they're just coming and eating the raw meat and trying to get it from the lions and they're stealing it. But um, actually they're one of the more important creatures that we have around here just because if an animal dies of a disease, they are one of the few along sometimes perhaps with hyenas that have also got very powerful um, stomach acids to digest everything that can wipe out those diseases from the environment. So it's very important for uh, it's very important for everyone to have them around here. I think I wanted to I wanted to double check if perhaps one of them it seemed like we had a bit of a different species of vulture there but I think it's pretty safe to say they are all against the trees uh, against the light sorry but it's all pretty much the backed uh, backed white vulture I think they're Uh, beer watcher, you'd like to know if they pee on their legs to keep themselves um, from dehydrating or from getting sunburned. Um, it's not particularly obvious in vultures, although some of the animals do it. But uh, it's more common if you perhaps, if we were to come across a marabou stork. Oh, we found a marabou stork right in front of us. In the shape of a very pretty human. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 